News Aba, oh, news Aba. There is news and there is gist. Hmm, <laughs> and pan news Aba. Gonna for this news, dear. I don't even know how to start. What to. Mm -mm. In fact, this one is passing. Hello, gist partners. News Aba, oh, news Aba. There is news and there is gist. As I said before, <laughs> and pan there is news. In fact, there is gist. <laughs> guys, hey, I don't even know where to start from. Anyway, I've missed you all. Like, I've missed giving you guys gist back to back. Don't worry, we'll get back on track very soon. Just give your girl some time. So, guys, <laughs> today's news, dear. Today's news, you'll be saying, Sandy, what are you talking about? What is going on? What is the news? What do you want to say? Eh, before I give you this news, before I gist you, if you know you're not following my other channel, Sandy's Joyful Space, me patcho, go and check it out. Fun things are going on there. In fact, <clears throat> today I just posted one very romantic, hot Valentine weekend. Mm, that me and us be had. <clears throat> very romantic. Oh, you have to see it. Yes. Anyway, enough of all that. So, guys, let me just break the news to you guys. Let's dissect it. So, the president of Ghana, President Anna Ado Dankwa Akufuado, on the 15th of February 2022, that means just two days ago, delivered a keynote address at the Maiden International Energy Conference and Expo in Georgetown, Guyana. And it was on the team, Ghana, Guyana must bring oil resources to production quickly for benefit of citizens. You will say, Sandy, okay, what is all this? What are they trying to say? Uh -huh. That is why I'm here. I'm here to break it all down. You know that oil was discovered some time back in Ghana, I think about 2007. So since that time, Ghana has been working hard to see how they can use, you know, these new resources that have been discovered to better the country, better the economy and all that. So this speech and this meeting they are talking about is all about, you know, oil and gas and all that talk. So President Akufado was giving a speech and in his speech, he was trying to say that if we want to, you know, get the full benefit, the full worth of this oil we have discovered in our country. We need to find a way whereby we can produce it ourselves, not exporting it in its raw form and get it produced in another country, then importing it back to our country. Like all this is making us to lose money, lose a lot of things. Like if we are able to do it in our country from the beginning to the end, you know, produce it, do everything, it will be very beneficial. It will help us. It will help the economy. It will improve the economy. It will help the people and a lot more. So he was just trying to explain this and he was just trying to state all this in the speech. And he mentioned that by doing this like as quickly as possible, like ASAP, it will help Ghana to quickly transition to a developed country. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you get that part. So he's saying that if they can, you know, start producing the oil in Ghana, doing everything by themselves, not, you know, exporting it in its raw form to outside country and all that. If we can do this, we can get the full potential of this oil. And by so doing, Ghana can quickly transition into a developed country because many African countries are going through these issues because they have those rich resources. They have the oil and this and that. But most of the time, it's been exported in its raw form to be produced and thereby imported back into the country. And all this is not helping the country. It's not making them to, you know, benefit it in its full potential. So that was what he was explaining. And he also went further to talk about the fact that even if we are going to partner with, you know, foreign investors, we have to do it in a way whereby both are benefiting. Like, it seems that in this situation most at times like <clears throat> we are not benefiting to be honest in this oil situation we know the benefit that is what he was trying to say so it's high time we look into it very well so that we are also benefiting when i say we i mean african countries ghana and every other african countries that was what he was saying and he went for that to say that many african countries have you know failed to achieve sustainable development from the exploitation of their natural resources and ghana is trying to you know change the narrative so they have put in some policies in place to ensure that you know they don't also follow that line they don't also go through that path and some of the policies he explained are you know focused on ensuring sustainable growth of the sector through legislative development employment creation 
protection of the environment, revenue and cost management, transparency, diversification of the economy, capacity building and local content development. So those are some of the policies that you know Ghana has put in place so that mm -hmm, they will not be in that situation whereby they are not able to fully achieve sustainable development from their own natural resources. So that is just what the news is talking about. I hope I was able to break it down. You know, their brothel was plenty, but you know, your sister, they tried to break them down for you guys so that mm -hmm, it will enter well well. Anyway, let me now read it from the horse's mouth because this one that I'm talking, 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 some people will say, ah, <coughs> if we don't hear from the horse's mouth, we can't believe you. So now let me read it from the horse's mouth. Ghana, Guyana must bring oil resources to production quickly for benefit of citizens. It is thus of the utmost necessity that countries like Guyana and Ghana find ways of bringing their substantial hydrocarbon resources to production and quickly too. We must add value to these resources and not export them in their raw form if we are to transition to the status of developed countries. The effective management of these resources will determine whether we make it or not. These were the words of the President of the Republic, Nana Ado Dankwa Akufado, when he delivered a keynote address at the Maiden International Energy Conference and Expo in Georgetown, Guyana, on Tuesday, 15 February 2022, whilst bringing these fields to production as quickly as possible. President Akufuado urged that Ghana and Guyana must balance carefully social, economic, and environmental benefits of these hydrocarbon resources in a continuously changing world. No energy project, therefore, no matter how high its return on value, is worth it if the interests of some or majority of the stakeholders are not properly represented and they are left impoverished and dissatisfied, he added. Delivering his speech, Prehera Kufado told the conference, which was attended by President of Guyana, President of Suriname, the Minister of Barbados and the CEO of Exxon Mobil, among others, that Ghana is today touted as a model case in Africa in the management of oil and gas resources. According to the President, the discovery of oil resources in Ghana in 2007 offered a unique historic opportunity for the country to leverage its newfound oil and gas resources for the development of the Ghanaian economy and to finance priority domestic investment crucial for diversified growth. By the grace of God, many more discoveries have since followed and Ghana's ability to use these resources for the development of the economy and for enhancing the welfare of the citizen remains robust, he said. So guys, that's the news on a nutshell. Anyway, the news is be bre bre. It went on and on. But that's just the nutshell of the speech and everything. So guys, when I heard these things, I said, ah, let me bring it up. <coughs> I pray that, you know, they are able to achieve what their plans and everything and quickly they are able to produce oil as they plan to do in Ghana and all that so that quickly Ghana can transition into a developed country in Jesus name amen so guys if you have watched this point I say thank you thank you thank you and if you're on this channel you have not yet subscribed me Pacho just help me hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell let it do that down please take this channel to 5k all road leads to 5k please me Pacho Hit that subscribe button where we hit somewhere where it's free. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love, your support. God bless you all and see you all in my next video. Bye.